Rush Limbaugh had his weekly breakdown, and this week it was over uh, the election, obviously. He believed initially that it was stolen, but now he's walking it back saying, oh, I didn't really believe that. Let's, let's watch that evolution uh, right now. Nobody is giving up, but we are facing reality here. We are either outnumbered and are losing ground or one of the most outrageous thefts of an election in the history of elections taking place. Now, I threw that last line in there because I had a bunch of people emailing me thinking that's what really happened. And I was just trying to acknowledge and make them feel better. I got people that really think that. You wouldn't believe the crap I get every day I have to deal with. Try to acknowledge it. Just keep people happy. I don't believe the... Th anyway. <laughs> that was awesome. So there's two great parts of that. So in the beginning... Uh, you know, yesterday he had said we're outnumbered and we've lost the country. Uh, we ran that. Governor Jennifer Granholm ran it on current television, and he was actually re specifically responding to Granholm, saying, "No, no, no, no. I get, I, we're not giving up. We're not giving up, but we're outnumbered." Yeah. <laughs> okay. And like, we're never going to win. Yeah, yeah. And we're never going to win because it shows up. Yeah. yeah, like we had a good run with that whole old white guy thing. Okay, yeah. but we're pretty much done. Uh, so that was the first half. And then the second half. He throws out the, the biggest, and then he realizes, oh, that's a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think he had the a bit much meter. Yeah, it turns out he does. <laughs> Look at that, a little self-regulation, if you He thinks will. the people that thought the election was stolen are crazy. Like, I can't believe he thinks that, someone's crazy. that he thinks someone's crazy. I'm being dead serious. That he could hear, you wouldn't believe the crazies we have emailing us. Really, they're just saying everything that you say. I mean, <laughs> right. they're called ditto heads. They say yeah. the exact same thing. Gee, I wonder where they got those crazy uh, ideas in their head in the first place. Yeah. So that walk back was funny. Uh, and, and it, but in the end, at least he did the right thing by not being an insane conspiracy theorist. Because yeah. if he starts that ball rolling, those guys who are already emailing him, that snowballs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But my one point for this is actually related to other things that he said this week. Um, both uh, Rush Limbaugh, Bill O'Reilly, I've heard it from Sean Hannity, a whole bunch of people. I, I don't like at all how they're responding to the election results and how they're trying to explain it. All this talk about Santa Claus and people wanting things. Yes. I, I think that it's actually dangerous. I don't think that any time that one party has said that anyone who disagrees with our political ideology are parasites. I don't think that's ever worked well for a country historically around the world. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's just them getting over the election, but if they continue with this, and this is the sort of thing we've been hearing through this last, the, the run up to the election, that's incredibly dangerous talk to have the people on the ground thinking that we're noble, they're parasites. Yeah, you're absolutely right. One of the encouraging things to come out of this election is, yes, if, if in fact, we, as we talked about at the top of this show, that the Republicans are losing their audience and they're losing their acreage as to where they can go and they can win elections, the people that talk about them, the, the Hannity's, that they're definitely losing their audience too. Mm. And it doesn't mean it's gonna go away overnight, but this is a dwindling mindset in America. And that, that too is a victory, not in, in the numbers in Congress, but in, in life. And the reason I really like John's point is that understand that even as Sean Hannity does his nonsense fake switch over to all of a sudden <laughs> being in favor of immigration reform, it, it, he's not doing that because all of a sudden he's had a change of heart about immigration or Latinos. He's saying basically, oh well, we've lost to the takers when we're the makers, I guess we're gonna have to give these parasites a little extra, right? Yeah. And that is a very cold-hearted equation, and it doesn't make the Republican Party any better. In fact, no. the way that they have clearly spelled it out, O'Reilly saying it and others saying it, it makes it worse.